Mutiny is a criminal conspiracy among a group of people to openly oppose, change or overthrow a lawful authority to which they are subject. The term is commonly used for a rebellion among members of the military against their superior officer, s, but can also occasionally refer to any type of rebellion against an authority figure. During the Age of Discovery, mutiny particularly meant open rebellion against a ship's captain. This occurred, for example, during Ferdinand Magellan's journeys around the world, resulting in the killing of one mutineer, the execution of another, and the marooning of others, and on Henry Hudson's discovery, resulting in Hudson and others being set adrift in a boat. The mutiny on the bounty remains notorious. Penalty Most countries still punish mutiny with particularly harsh penalties, sometimes even the death penalty. Mutiny is typically thought of only in a shipboard context, but many countries' laws make no such distinction, and there have been many notable mutinies on land. United Kingdom Until 1689, mutiny was regulated in the United Kingdom by Articles of War, instituted by the monarch and effective only in a period of war. In 1689, the first Mutiny Act was passed, passing the responsibility to enforce discipline within the military to Parliament. The Mutiny Act, altered in 1803, and the Articles of War defined the nature and punishment of mutiny, until the latter were replaced by the Army Discipline and Regulation Act in 1879. This, in turn, was replaced by the Army Act in 1881. Today the Army Act 1955 defines mutiny as follows. Mutiny means a combination between two or more persons subject to service law, or between persons two at least of whom are subject to service law or euro, a, to overthrow or resist lawful authority in Her Majesty's forces or any forces cooperating therewith or in any part of any of the said forces, b, to disobey such authority in such circumstances as to make the disobedience subversive of discipline, or with the object of avoiding any duty or service against, or in connection with operations against, the enemy, or, c, to impede the performance of any duty or service in Her Majesty's forces or in any forces cooperating therewith or in any part of any of the said forces. The same definition applies in the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force. The military law of England in early times existed, like the forces to which it applied, in a period of war only. Troops were raised for a particular service, and were disbanded upon the cessation of hostilities. The Crown, by prerogative, made laws known as Articles of War, for the government and discipline of the troops while thus embodied in serving. Except for the punishment of desertion, which was made a felony by statute in the reign of Henry VI, these ordinances or Articles of War remained almost the sole authority for the enforcement of discipline until 1689, when the first Mutiny Act was passed and the military forces of the Crown were brought under the direct control of Parliament. Even the parliamentary forces in the time of Charles I and Oliver Cromwell were governed, not by an act of the legislature, but by articles of war similar to those issued by the king and authorized by an ordinance of the Lords and Commons, exercising in that respect the sovereign prerogative. This power of lawmaking by prerogative was however held to be applicable during a state of actual war only, and attempts to exercise it in time of peace were ineffectual. Subject to this limitation it existed for considerably more than a century after the passing of the first Mutiny Act. From 1689 to 1803, although in peacetime the Mutiny Act was occasionally suffered to expire, a statutory power was given to the Crown to make articles of war to operate in the colonies and elsewhere beyond the seas in the same manner as those made by prerogative operated in time of war. In 1715, in consequence of the rebellion, this power was created in respect of the forces in the kingdom, but apart from and in no respect affected the principle acknowledged all this time that the crown of its mere prerogative could make laws for the government of the army in foreign countries in time of war. The Mutiny Act of 1803 effected a great constitutional change in this respect, the power of the crown to make any articles of war became altogether statutory, and the prerogative merged in the Act of Parliament. The Mutiny Act 1873 was passed in this manner. So matters remained till 1879, when the last Mutiny Act was passed and the last Articles of War were promulgated. The Mutiny Act legislated for offences in respect of which death or penal servitude could be awarded, and the Articles of War, 
while repeating those provisions of the Act, constituted the direct authority for dealing with offences for which imprisonment was the maximum punishment as well as with many matters relating to trial and procedure. The Act and the Articles were found not to harmonize in all respects. Their general arrangement was faulty, and their language sometimes obscure. In 1869 a Royal Commission recommended that both should be recast in a simple and intelligible shape. In 1878 a committee of the House of Commons endorsed this view and made recommendations as to how the task should be performed. In 1879 passed into law a measure consolidating in one act both the Mutiny Act and the Articles of War, and amending their provisions in certain important respects. This measure was called the Army Discipline and Regulation Act 1879. After one or two years' experience finding room for improvement, it was superseded by the Army Act 1881, which hence formed the foundation and the main portion of the military law of England, containing a proviso saving the right of the Crown to make articles of war, but in such a manner as to render the power in effect a nullity by enacting that no crime made punishable by the Act shall be otherwise punishable by such articles. As the punishment of every conceivable offence was provided, any articles made under the Act could be no more than an empty formality having no practical effect. Thus the history of English military law up to 1879 may be divided into three periods, each having a distinct constitutional aspect, prior to 1689, the army, being regarded as so many personal retainers of the sovereign rather than servants of the state, was mainly governed by the will of the sovereign. Between 1689 and 1803, the army, being recognized as a permanent force, was governed within the realm by statute and without it by the prerogative of the crown and from 1803 to 1879, it was governed either directly by statute or by the sovereign under an authority derived from and defined and limited by statute. Although in 1879 the power of making articles of war became in effect inoperative, the sovereign was empowered to make rules of procedure, having the force of law, to regulate the administration of the Act in many matters formerly dealt with by the Articles of War. These rules, however, must not be inconsistent with the provisions of the Army Act itself, and must be laid before Parliament immediately after they are made. Thus in 1879 the government and discipline of the army became for the first time completely subject either to the direct action or the close supervision of Parliament. A further notable change took place at the same time. The Mutiny Act had been brought into force on each occasion for one year only, in compliance with the constitutional theory that the maintenance of a standing army in time of peace, unless with the consent of Parliament, is against law. Each session therefore the text of the Act had to be passed through both houses clause by clause and line by line. The Army Act, on the other hand, is a fixed permanent code. But constitutional traditions are fully respected by the insertion in it of a section providing that it shall come into force only by virtue of an annual Act of Parliament. This annual Act recites the illegality of a standing army in time of peace unless with the consent of Parliament, and the necessity nevertheless of maintaining a certain number of land forces and a body of Royal Marine forces on shore, and of keeping them in exact discipline, and it brings into force the Army Act for one year. Sentence until 1998 mutiny, and another offence of failing to suppress or report a mutiny, were each punishable with death. Section 21, 5, of the Human Rights Act 1998 completely abolished the death penalty in the United Kingdom. This provision was not required by the European Convention on Human Rights, since Protocol 6 of the Convention permitted the death penalty in time of war, and Protocol 13 which prohibits the death penalty for all circumstances, did not then exist. The UK government introduced Section 21, 5, as a late amendment in response to parliamentary pressure. United States, the United States Uniform Code of Military Justice defines mutiny thus. Art 94. 2004 Mutiny or Sedition. a. Any person subject to this code vo euro, 1 with intent to usurp or override lawful military authority, refuses, in concert with any other person, to obey orders or otherwise do his duty or creates any violence or disturbance is guilty of mutiny. 2. With intent to cause the overthrow or destruction of lawful civil authority, creates, in concert with any other person, revolt, 
violence, or other disturbance against that authority is guilty of sedition. 3. Fails to do his utmost to prevent and suppress a mutiny or sedition being committed in his presence, or fails to take all reasonable means to inform his superior commissioned officer or commanding officer of a mutiny or sedition which he knows or has reason to believe is taking place, is guilty of a failure to suppress or report a mutiny or sedition. b. A person who was found guilty of attempted mutiny, mutiny, sedition, or failure to suppress or report a mutiny or sedition shall be punished by death or such other punishment as a court-martial may direct. U.S. military law requires obedience only to lawful orders. Disobedience to unlawful orders is the obligation of every member of the U.S. military, a principle established by the Nuremberg and Tokyo trials following World War II and reaffirmed in the aftermath of the Miley Massacre during the Vietnam War. However, a U.S. soldier who disobeys an order after deeming it unlawful will almost certainly be court-martialed to determine whether the disobedience was proper. In addition, Simple refusal to obey is not mutiny, which requires collaboration or conspiracy to disobedience. Famous mutinies, 16th century, sack of Antwerp, one of the many mutinies in the Spanish army of Flanders during the Eighty Years' War. This mutiny caused the provinces of the Habsburg Netherlands to temporarily unite in rebellion against Philip II of Spain and sign the pacification of Ghent. 17th century. Batavia was a ship of the Dutch East India Company, built in 1628 in Amsterdam, which was struck by mutiny and shipwreck during her maiden voyage. Cork Field mutiny occurred on 1647 and the Bishopsgate mutiny and Banbury mutiny of 1649 during the early stages of the Second English Civil War. Banbury mutiny, Bishopsgate mutiny, 18th century. HMS Herman was a 32-gun fifth-rate frigate of the British Royal Navy, launched in 1782, notorious for the mutiny which took place aboard her. Mutiny aboard HMS Bounty, a mutiny aboard a British Royal Navy ship in 1789 that has been made famous by several books and films. Quirba copyright Ron Mutinies was major mutinies in the French fleet in 1793. Spithead and Nor mutinies were two major mutinies by sailors of the British Royal Navy in 1797. Leiter incident was a mutiny of a squadron of the fleet of the Batavian Republic which caused it to be surrendered to the British without a fight in 1799 at the start of the Anglo-Russian invasion of Holland, 19th century. Albanian troops rebelled in Fort Rikazali, Malta in 1807. The mutiny was suppressed and 30 men were executed. The Indian Rebellion of 1857 was a period of armed uprising in India against British colonial power, and was popularly remembered in Britain as the Indian Mutiny or Sepoy Mutiny. It is remembered in India as the First War of Independence. La Amistad, in 1839. A group of captured African slaves being transported in Cuba mutinied against the crew, killing the captain. The Sharon, a New England whaler was subject to multiple mass desertions, mutinies, and the murder and dismemberment of a cruel captain by four Polynesians who had been pressed into service on the Sharon. The U.S. Whaler Globe Mutiny of 1824. The Cavite Mutiny of 1872 in the Philippines. The brig USS Summers had a mutiny plotted and board on her first voyage. Three men were accused of conspiring to commit mutiny, and were hanged. The Brazilian naval revolt were two mutinies in 1893 and 1894. 20th century, mutiny aboard the Russian battleship Potemkin, a rebellion of the crew against their officers in June 1905 during the Russian Revolution of 1905. It was made famous by the film The Battleship Potemkin. The revolt at Archibata was a Brazilian naval mutiny of 1910 where Afro-Brazilian crewmen rose up against oppressive white officers who frequently beat them. Their goal was to have their living conditions improved and the Chibata banned from the Navy. Guama's mutiny on February 22, 1914, Mexican Navy sailors under Lieutenant Jalrio Malpica seized control of gunboat Tampico off Guamas, Mexico. This event led to a naval campaign off Topolabampo during the Mexican Revolution. Cara incident also known as the Cara Mutiny of July 20, 1914 occurred in the Cara, Ireland, where British officers threatened to resign rather than enforce the Home Rule Act 1914. 
Atapal's Mutiny by British Troops, 1917, French Army Mutinies in 1917. The failure of the Nivelle Offensive in April and May 1917 resulted in widespread mutiny in many units of the French Army. Wilhelm Schaven mutiny broke out in the German High Seas Fleet on October 29, 1918. The mutiny was one of the factors leading to the end of the First World War, to the collapse of the monarchy and to the establishment of the Imar Republic. Black Sea Mutiny by crews aboard the French dreadnoughts, Jean Bart and France, sent to assist the White Russians in the Russian Civil War. The ringleaders received long prison sentences. Kronstadt Rebellion was an unsuccessful uprising of Soviet sailors, led by Stepan Petrychenko, against the government of the early Russian SFSR in the first weeks of March in 1921. It proved to be the last major rebellion against Bolshevik rule. The army mutiny was an Irish army crisis in March 1924 provoked by a proposed reduction in army numbers in the immediate post-Civil War period. Invergordon mutiny was an industrial action by around a thousand sailors in the British Atlantic Fleet, that took place on 15 Euro September 16, 1931. For two days, ships of the Royal Navy at Invergordon were in open mutiny, in one of the few military strikes in British history. Mutiny aboard the Dutch warship the Dezeve and Provincien as a result of salary cuts in early February 1933. Cocos Islands Mutiny was a failed mutiny by Sri Lankan servicemen in the then British Cocos Islands during the Second World War. Port Chicago Mutiny on August 9, 1944, three weeks after the Port Chicago disaster, 258 out of the 320 African American sailors in the Ordnance Battalion refused to load any ammunition. See also African American mutinies in the United States Armed Forces. Sunderborg Denmark mutiny on May 5, 1945 German sailors took over German minesweeper M612 the day before. Arrested and 11 executed. C. After World War II, post a Euro World War II demobilization strikes occurred within Allied military forces stationed across the Middle East, India and Southeast Asia in the months and years following World War II. The Royal Indian Navy mutiny encompasses a total strike and subsequent mutiny by the Indian sailors of the Royal Indian Navy on board ship and shore establishments at Bombay Harbour on February 18, 1946. SS Columbia Eagle incident occurred on March 14, 1970 during the Vietnam War when sailors aboard an American merchant ship mutinied and hijacked the ship to Cambodia. The Starozavoy mutiny occurred on November 9, 1975 in Riga. Latvia. The political officer locked up the Soviet Navy captain and sailed the ship toward Leningrad. The Veloz mutiny on May 23, 1973, the captain of HNS Veloz, refused to return to Greece after a NATO exercise. Following Operation Blue Star against Sikh militants holding the Golden Temple in the Sikh holy city of Amitsa, many soldiers and officers of Indian Army's Sikh regiment mutinied or resigned. 2003 Oakwood mutiny a group of 321 officers and personnel of the armed forces of the Philippines took over the Oakwood Premier Ayala Center Service Department Tower in Makati City to show the Filipino people the alleged corruption of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. 2003 Fort Bonifacio Crisis Members of the Philippine Marines staged a protest over the removal of their Commandant Major General Renato Miranda. 2009 Bangladesh Rifles Revolt a group of Bangladesh border guards revolted, demanding equal rights to the regular army, and killed several of their officers. 2013 First Battalion Yorkshire Regiment, British Army 16 soldiers were jailed after a court-martial for staging a sit-in protest against their captain and color sergeant, see also, Baratry, a captain's intentional destruction of a ship against its owner's wishes, coup d'a copyright tat, desertion, draft dodger, espionage, List of revolutions and rebellions, mutiny, film, piracy, riots, sedition, terrorism, treason, references. Further reading, at this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, a Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Encyclopaedia Britannica. Cambridge University Presser, Leonard F. Guttridge, Mutiny, A History of Naval Insurrection, United States Naval Institute Press. 1992
ISBN 0-87021-281-8